Hey guys, subscribe for daily knife content. And if you're shopping for knives and gear, make sure you check out the description of the video you're watching right now for links to some great online retailers. There's also individual links for knives that I personally recommend. Thanks. What's going on YouTube? Metal Complex here. And today I've got a very exciting unboxing to share with you guys. This package was sent by We Knife Co. Thank you very much, We Knife Co. for uh, reaching out and we talked a little bit and I was really happy to have that conversation with them. There's a lot of stuff that's coming out through We and Civivi that I was really excited to take a look at and they sent me a few things. So I'm excited to share with you guys. There's some stuff in here that a lot of you have been asking about so I'm really pumped to bring this to you today. Uh, thanks so much to my generous patrons who are supporting me right now. If you'd like to check out my Patreon, there is of course a link right down in the description and please make sure to follow me on Instagram at metal underscore complex. Okay. Let's find out. I, you guys know I have a terrible memory. Oh, have I said that before? Have I ever said? I can't remember exactly what's in here. It's because I can't. <laughs> they send me a lot of stuff. I remember uh, some of the things, and then there's some other... I think there's a couple others where I just I'm, wasn't super familiar that they just thought I might want to look at. So, uh, let's take a look here real quick. Oh, boy. Oh boy, one, two, three, <laughs> four, five, <laughs> six. <laughs> oh my gosh, there's definitely stuff in here. Oh cool, all right, hey, we got a hat, nice, thank you. Oh, there's another one. <laughs> okay, buckle up guys, this is gonna be a long, what is this? Okay, here's a thing, and a cleaning cloth, awesome. And some more packing material. Thank you so much. We Knife Co. Appreciate that. Let's find out what we've got. Oh my goodness. Uh, let's say, so finally, finally, I'm going to be able to check out some Send Cut knives. So if you guys don't know, you know, We Knife Co., they're like the We Knives is the premium end, and then they kind of have a budget to mid range and with uh, Civivi and then they have um, a really nice affordable line uh, called Senka and I've actually never, I say really nice, I've actually never handled any. So this one here is, by the way, uh, email, website and Instagram. So there you go. This is the, what is it called here? The Actium. Okay. So let's take a look. I will link all of this stuff down in the description, um, but these knives are very, very inexpensive. And you know what? Right off the bat, <laughs> the quality is pretty good. I mean, the the action is pretty darn good, and we have a nice sort of that f somewhat familiar blade shape here. I think we've seen that in the, oh, not the Shredder, but there's something else really similar in the Civivi line in terms of the blade shape, right? So we've got a flipper and we've got thumb studs and it looks like we've got G10 with a steel liner, right? Uh, and then what do we have for the steel? Oh, this is D2. Okay, so there you go. Uh, nice first impressions on uh, Senka. By the way, this is not a review on any of this stuff. The in these individual knives will each get their own videos uh, two to three weeks, perhaps a little longer down the road because we've got so many here. The next one up is called, oh, it's is it also called the Actium? Oh, it's a red one. Okay, so that's cool. We've got a couple of different colors here. Uh, I'm actually digging the red and stonewashed here. Yeah, I like that one. Uh, all black's cool. Uh, it's fine. You know, some people prefer that. I kind of like the red and then this satin finish here. But yeah, um, the action is great. It's honestly, if you didn't have Sen Cut on there, I'd find this extremely similar to Civivi. I mean, yeah, I can't sit here and tell you guys I'm feeling a whole lot of difference between <laughs> between this and Civivi. Now, uh, these are using what, uh, this one's not printed on there, but I, I'm guessing D2. I remember seeing something a long time ago about 440C. And then we're seeing Civivi experiment with different steels, right, uh, up at a slightly higher price point. So I kind of think I understand what, what the deal is there. In any case, those are, you know, very nice, well-made budget knives. I'm curious about this little teeny tiny one here. So this is a Civivi, uh, Civivi.com, and then the, there's the information there for contact and their Instagram for sure. What is this little teeny tiny thing? Oh, it's a little bottle opener, okay, or a little multi-tool deal. 
And I can never have too many of those. In fact, I kind of need a new one because my old, what's serving as a bottle opener slash pry tool thing is really just been a nail puller and it only serves one purpose. So that's pretty cool. There you go. Neat. Thank you. Okay. Let's see here. Um, eh, let's, okay. I want to do this one. What do we have? Uh, Imperium. Uh, yeah, Civivi Imperium. This was, I think, one of the newer models. Are these sealed off? Yeah. Um, let's go ahead and get in there real quick. There we go. Let's find out what we've got here. Civivi Imperium. I actually really like keeping a bunch of those salt packs around. If you guys have display cases or knife cases, it's always a good idea to keep a few of those in there with your knives. All right, so... Nice color there. I'm a big fan of the ooh, ooh front flipper. Ooh, I like that profile so far. So let's do it. Uh, thumb stud first. Boy, that's nice. Okay, let's try front flipping it. Yeah. Oh, that's a yeah. I, I I like this one. I like this one a lot. Look at the so. I like straight lines. I like simplicity. Civivi so generally does that really well, right? We don't see you know. I don't want to say like massive risk taking on Civivi's end. They have a certain, you know, they have certain parameters that they like all their knives to fit in. And generally what we see within those parameters are nice uh, blade to handle ratio, nice ergonomic lines, simple ergonomic lines, right? Simple construction, but all, you know, sort of geared towards the end user. And then of course, uh, for a really good price. So this is awesome. <laughs> nice T8 heads, T8 uh Pivot adjustment. We have the, you know, the same Civivi clip that we've been seeing for a while, which is fine. We have Nitro V. Oh, for the blade steel. That's going to make a lot of people happy. Look at the finish there. Nice. Nice dark stone. This is a good looking knife. Yeah, I'm going to have fun reviewing that one. I don't know if this is available or not yet, guys. But if it is, I'll link it down below. If it's not available, I think you can go to the Civivi website. You know, in some cases, you can go to their website and get you know, uh, the knife of maybe sometimes before it hits retailers. I don't really know, but, um, yeah, so that's cool. What's next. I think I know what this is. Yeah. I think I, I, I think I know what this is. The button lock elementum. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Where's my thing? There we go. Oh boy. I know people have been super curious about it. People keep asking me, can, can you review that? Can you get it? And whoop. Oh, the salt thing broke. <laughs> no big deal. Oh, geez, they're going everywhere. <laughs> okay, let's see. Oh, neato. So these will come in a lot of different aesthetic configurations. If you're not big into this, no big deal. But here we go. Oh, boy. Did they give me a Damascus one, too? That is nice. Okay, so you guys might be wondering, how do you open it? It's a button lock. No, it's not an auto, right? You just pull the button and it opens. Right? Like that. Okay, yeah, that works pretty well, right? Now, a lot of people, I'm sure, are wondering, why did they do a flipper tab or thumb stud, something on? I don't know. But I can't sit here and tell you guys it's not easy to mess around with or play with, right? It works. How's the lockup? Absolutely solid. That's pretty cool. Because we have no flipper tab and no thumb stud, right? So, I mean, obviously, there are there's, there's different combinations of things that are going to be more or less preferable to different people. But with no flipper tab, there's nothing in the way up here. So choking up is much easier than if it had a flipper tab. And because it's got no thumb stud, there's nothing in the cutting path, right? Um, yeah, deploying this thing is pretty easy. That's, that's it. Or you can just hang it upside down, right? You don't have to use wrist. <laughs> that's interesting. Uh, it's basically a gravity knife. Now with that though, you know, check your laws sometimes, you know, I, I, I'm not saying it absolutely is a gravity knife. I, I mean, I just, I don't. I don't make laws and I'm not a source for that type of stuff. So, but this is very cool. The Elementum, obviously an incredibly popular knife through Civivi. And now, you know, with the rise of it, rise and in interest in button lock knives in the knife world, um, you know, like the ProTech Malibu, right? Um, we've got this. This is cool. I'm 
this is this is neat. That's a very interesting one. I'm happy to have that one to show on the channel. We've got a couple of what I believe are are they? I believe they're fixed blades. Yeah, the Elementum fixed, um, which is cool. I every now and then there's a fixed blade that catches my eye, and I'd be lying to you guys if I said that I, you know, didn't stop and check out the images on Blade HQ's coming soon page of the uh, Civivi Elementum. The fixed Civivi Elementum. Boy, this is really fixed in there. Ooh, good joke. Sorry, we get a lot of stuff here. Uh, so here is the sheath, and then here's the knife itself, which has the protective thingy on it. Oh, well, this is a, actually, this is a pretty nice size. Okay, let's take a look here. Yeah, that's pretty cool. I like how that looks a lot. So what do we have for steel? Boy, I'm not sure. But, yeah, ergonomically, nice choke up position. Very thin behind the edge with a reasonable blade stock. I think that's going to be, sometimes when we have, you know, when we're way zoomed out and I'm trying to get a close up on a knife that's got a black finish on it, the camera does not want to focus super well. So I'm going to try and show you guys this. Um, but yeah, this is really nice. Nice G10 scales, of course, fit and finish. Excellent. Do we have something that says the steel? Oh, yeah, it does. Blackstone Wash D2 blade. So there you go, D2. I don't think these are going to be horribly expensive, right? Anything from Civivi or Sencut's going to be very, very competitive. So that's really cool. And then I think we've got another one here. Oh my gosh, this is going to be a mess to clean up. Uh, this is another uh, fixed elementum. And ooh, ooh, ooh. Oh, okay. All right, hang on. Oh, this has a different sheath. I didn't show the sheet, so we'll compare the sheets here in a sec. Let me get this, let me get this one out of here, and then this one's got a, I guess a leather sheath. <laughs> there we go. Get that one out there, and then let's get that guy back. Let me get this one out. This got a nice color. Oh man, that's nice. Look at this. Holy cow. That's beautiful. Look at this. Jeez, Louise, that is really nice. Is this, what is this? Let's see here. So we have black and red contoured G10 handle, satin finish, 10CR15 COMOV. Uh, not familiar with that steel, but I'm going to guess. Well, I don't want to take a guess. I have no idea. You guys are welcome to Google that, and I'm, I absolutely will after this video, but. Wow, that is really nice. This this is obviously a bit of an upgraded uh, Elementum fixed blade because we've got the leather sheath and like the polished G10 and the red line, the red G10 liners, right? Or the little whatever you call those on a knife like this. Familiar with seeing stuff like that from um, uh, Fiddleback Forge? We'll see stuff like that, uh, you know, beside the tang. That's nice. I'm not a very good judge when it comes to uh, knife sheaths, but knife sheaths but uh, that you know seems pretty good to me that's really nice holy moly that is beautiful okay so we have that and then we have um, this one and believe me I will get into this wee box we've got this one here with the kydex sheath which honestly me personally I kind of prefer kydex over leather but the leather sheath is really nice for people who prefer that yeah okay in and outs good got any rattle nope no rattle. Nice. Good retention. It's got that little adjustable. You can turn it this way or that way. That's what it looks like anyway. And then I'm going to guess it's one of those squeeze. Yeah. So there you go. Pretty cool. All right. And uh, last but not least, we have a Wii box here, which means this is probably going to be the most expensive one of the bunch. Um, Screech. Titanium handle, 20 CB blade, and something's crossed out and it says bronze <laughs> so yeah i have no idea i feel like maybe they showed me a picture of this but i'm not sure uh, we got a special boy here Ooh, ooh let's see here so far beautiful big fan of sort well i want to say black it's like a really really deep bronze and then lighter more rich bronze highlights on the corners and then the titanium hardware right Ooh. What? Hang on a sec. 
Okay, really nice action. Not that I didn't expect that from Wii. Very nice action, but hang on a sec. Let's... Let me look at this back here. Is that a... Well, it has to be a backspacer. Jeez, the seam work on that is so good that I honestly thought it was just a highlight on an on an integral. But there are, are screws, right? So it's... A, this is nice. Look at this. Wow. <laughs> we got a rare situation here where I'm quiet. <laughs> this is cool. Uh, it feels probably like about seven and a half inches or so. Or so. Nice little notch back here. Bit of a recurve in the blade. Some people like that, some people don't. But yeah, titanium, CPM 20 CV. Love the uh, bronze hardware. Big fan of that. What does it say right here on the blade? Uh, custom bell, custom ball knives. Okay, very cool. Action sounds good. Listen to this. Yeah. I mean, it's what I expect from Wii. I've always had a high opinion of Wii's manufacturing quality. And, I mean, Wii, Civivi, Sencuts, right? Their manufacturing quality is great, right? I expect the the little, you know, what we, uh, we want to see on a titanium frame lock flipper, right? Bearing, steel lock bar insert, good disengagement, right? Good snappy action. It's all there. Absolutely. So, very cool. Wow, what a haul from uh, Wii, Civivi, and Sencut. Very cool. Um, all of these knives will get, I mean, when I when I do the fixed ba blades, I'll probably do them together. When I do the send cuts, I'll probably do them together, right? But they'll each get individual reviews. Wow, this is a long video, 16 minutes. <laughs> they'll each get individual reviews down the road. Expect to see all of these within the next three to four weeks on the channel. Thank you so much. Again, We Knives, let me show uh, Wee's information here. WeKnife.com. Uh, there's their contact information, and check them out on Instagram at WeKnives. Very, very cool. Very excited about this stuff. Hope you guys are too. That's gonna be pretty much it today, guys. I don't think I missed anything. I'm kind of looking around. That this is all a mess. I got I got some cleaning to do. Please, whoops. Please make sure to follow me on Instagram at Metal underscore Complex. If you guys enjoyed this video, please. Leave a like. If you'd like to check out my other content, I do, of course, have lots of videos of knives that are either expensive or inexpensive that I do or don't like, so check those out. And if you enjoy all my content, go ahead and click on that Metal Complex logo right there and subscribe because there's definitely more coming. Thanks again for watching, everybody, and have a great day.